well. Admit it, Petri. You're a bottom. Every knows it. So just admit it, you donkey. No, shut up, Gordon. I'm not a bottom. I'm not a bottom, Gordon. I'm not a bottom. Fuck you, Gordon Ramsay. Fuck you. I'm not a fucking bottom. If you want to make an AI TTS chatbot for your chat to use AI generated sounds of celebrities and characters, I'm going to show you how to do it. This uses Uberduck's AI chatbot made by Matt Donk. I will link all the links down below that you need in, um, for this tutorial. It's super easy to set up. I'm going to show you how to do it. There's two different ways you can show it up. Today I'm going to show you the simple way of doing it by using their web app, which is really cool and uh, makes it super user friendly. The more complicated way, I'm not going to do tutorial, but I will link a very helpful tutorial down below that I personally tested out and found it was easy to follow but um, kind of complicated if you don't really know what you're doing as it involves things like Python. So I'm going to show you how to do the easy thing with the uh, the web app. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So when you open the dashboard, it'll look something like this and ask you to log in. Once you log in, it should look a little bit like this. So this is my dashboard for the Uberduck AI TTS, which means it's an AI generated text to speech bot. First thing you want to do is decide if you want it to be on channel points, bids or subs. I put it on channel points and so I've made a relevant channel point redemption um, called TTS, which you can see here. It needs to be the exact same as the channel point redemption you've set up. I'd recommend putting a cooldown on the redemption just so there is an overlap between redeems because you don't want TTS's messages getting confused. There's a big delay between when someone sends the redemption and when it'll actually appear on your stream. So uh, make sure you account for that. I've put a two minute cooldown on the TTS redemption and I think that's worked well for me so far. There's also a bit of a learning curve when it comes to the syntax, but I'll show you that in a moment. This is the default max message length as 1000 characters, uh, max message length, minimum resub amount, um, and then there's the blacklist section. You have to understand there is no moderation on this. By default, these boxes are all empty. So you may want to add racist, you know, homophobic, generally TOS words into the blacklisted words section. This is a blacklist of voices. You do not want it to be used. Any voices you don't want, you can put in that section and then it'll make sure that it doesn't use that voice. Um, users, you can also block specific users from using the, the chatbot. So if someone's using it to abuse or, you know, being inappropriate, then you can block them from using the feature. And then the fallback voice, by default, this is Kanye West rap. If a user doesn't input a specific voice that they want it to use, it will by default use Kanye West rap voice. So I've put Gordon Ramsay's voice because it's really funny and it doesn't currently work, but hopefully in the future it does work. And when they do fix it, um, no matter what you've put there, once they've fixed the feature, it will automatically use that as the fallback voice instead. At the moment, they're currently aware that blacklisted users, voices, and words don't work, and fallback voices also don't work. This is a beta website at the moment, so they're in the process of fixing it. There's a link to the Discord server at the top that I'll also link down in the description down below. Cool. Okay, and then lastly, once you've filled out all this information, you want to make sure you save it. And then down here, there's a copy open sensitive information. So if I click it, scroll down, this will give you your TTS overlay. Don't share this to anyone because this is what you'll put into OBS as a browser source so that you can add it onto your stream. So I'll right click and I will copy link address. Or you can open it and copy the link address from the address bar. This is like your dashboard for when people are using it. So you can click open recent messages and it will show, it will show all the recent messages that people have done. Some of them are quite cursed, so bear with. <laughs> you can also skip a TTS, so if someone sends something that you don't want to appear on stream, you can quickly click that button before it appears on stream and it will skip that one and go to the next one. The next thing to do is to copy that link that you took and add it as a browser source on OBS. Um, you don't need to do anything else with that browser source. If you want to step up your game a little bit more, you can add two images, one open mouth, one closed mouth, using Move Transitions plugin, which I'll also link down below in the description. You can use that, put that onto the TTS browser source to make the mouth open and close. <laughs> I will show you uh, with a screenshot here what your settings for the audio move filter should look like on both the open and the mouth are closed. The next thing you need to look at is the Uberduck AI TTS guide. This is for chat, so this will be um, important for teaching your chat how to use the bot correctly. This will also be linked down in the description. This is the website where you find the voices that you want to do for your TTS. So if we scroll down, we can pick, um, let's say we want actors. So let's put in the actors section. Boom. And then, <laughs> and then let's pick an actor that we want the voice of. Let's do Benedict Cumberbatch. You can see here right at the top that it has Benedict Cumberbatch. You want to save that 
and put that into the TTS. So when you're redeeming the TTS, you would do Benedict dash Cumberbatch colon and then the message and then the message will be read out in benedict cumberbatch's voice we go back to the guide and it will show you how to do it if you want to add sounds then it gets a little bit more complicated and you need these little lines i don't know what they're called but they should be on your keyboard and then you can do a number before or after your message um, to add input sounds into your ai chat message here are the sounds this link will also be in the description below there's 266 different sound effects you can go through but yeah you can input these so if you want you want a horse sound effect in your message, you might do open brackets 075 or 75, close bracket, and then the two lines, and then, I don't know, Winnie dash the dash poo colon, um, get on the horse chat or something, and Winnie the Pooh would say that with the horse sound effect, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. There isn't a TTS bot that does this as far as I'm aware that I've seen, so, um, yeah, it's really cool and fun to play with, and Chad have come up with some crazy things already. So, go wild. I would love to see what you do with this. It's pretty cool. It should be really easy for you to set up this web app version, although it is quite buggy. It's a beta test. There is a link to the Discord down below where you can join, get help from the creators. Yeah, and I think you should support it. There are monetary ways you can support, including monthly subscriptions. And I highly recommend checking out the creators. They've done some hoggy things. Cool. Okay, if you want to play with my chat board, come join me in my streams. I stream five days a week, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every day at 6pm UK time. Goodbye! <laughs>